In this free guide, you'll learn how to make high quality YouTube thumbnails from your iPhone or Android device without the need to spend any money. Now you can actually do this in three easy steps with step one being you just need to pose and take photos for your thumbnail. You can set your phone up on a tripod, you can lean it up against something and then just click the timer, turn it on and just do a bunch of poses for your thumbnails of you pointing, of you reacting, all the different types that you need for your thumbnail. Which brings us to step number two, which is optional, which is to remove the background from your photos. The reason you would wanna do this is because then you can make the background anything you want, like a very bright color to stand out from other thumbnails. There's a lot of free apps for both iPhone and Android. Just go to the search bar in your app store and just search background eraser. You'll get a bunch of free apps that you can use to erase the background. If you have some money to spend and you want somebody to just instantly do it for you without you having to do anything, definitely get the premium version of Canva as they have a tool where you just click a button, instantly removes the background and you don't have to do anything. I'll have an affiliate link down below for Canva if you want to purchase it, plus support me, uh, but definitely recommend it if you're going for the easier route. And finally, step number three is putting everything together and designing this thumbnail. And for that, I use the free app Canva, both on iPhone and Android. If you don't have the app yet, download it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into this app right now. Now I'm gonna be doing this from my iPad, but it's the exact same if you're on iPhone or Android. It just makes it easier for a YouTube tutorial for you to see more of the screen and see what I'm clicking on here. Now to get started, you can just go to the search bar here and type out YouTube thumbnail and it'll instantly pull out the exact dimensions down here. It says YouTube thumbnail. You can click on this and start designing your thumbnail. Now to make things really simple for you, I actually went and made 20 thumbnail templates. You can use them for free, use them on your videos, and I'm actually gonna use those for designing mine. So I'm gonna open this up here. And as you can see, I actually have a whole bunch of different backgrounds, different color effects, all these different things that you can use within your thumbnails. If you wanna get those, the link is down in the description below. Once you enter your email, I'll send you a link. You just click that link, sign into Canva, and poof, you have all the templates within the Canva app that you can use however you like. So to get started, what I'm gonna actually do is click Upload Media, and I'm gonna click on Photo Library and click on the photo that I wanna use for my thumbnail. All right, so that just loaded in. So I'm actually gonna scroll down here and choose my background that I want to use. I think I'm gonna go for this blue because I'm a big fan of blue, I like it. I'm gonna click on my photo and add it in here. Now, if I didn't want a colorful background and just wanted to use the image as is and add text, you know, I could always take this and just increase the size but pulling on the edges there. And I could move it right over here. And there we go. And now I have space where I can add text or different things like that into my thumbnail. And like I said, if you get the paid version of Canva, you can just actually click on edit image here and click background removal and it'll take care of that whole process. Otherwise, if you're going the free route, just use one of those free apps on the app store and erase your background and then add the photo into Canva. So there we go, instantly done, didn't have to do anything. I can just resize myself here by grabbing the edges and I can just drag myself around here. So I'm just gonna move myself over here Increase my size a little bit more. There we go. And I can also click edit image further. If I wanna turn up this brightness a bit, just to make myself a little brighter, add a little bit more saturation, there we go. And then what I can do is click on the text section over here, and I can scroll through these presets if I want to use those. Otherwise, I can just click add a heading, and it'll add it in there. I can click this part here to move it anywhere. I'm just gonna double click to erase this all. Now, once I'm done typing text, I can change the font here if I want to. I can change the size, the color. Um, if I click the options here, I can actually do effects and I can add shadow behind my text if I want. I could add a background, which is what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna make it less round. I'm gonna turn the spread down and I'm gonna change the color to white so it stands out a little bit better there. And what I can actually do to save time is I'm gonna click more and I'm just gonna click duplicate. And then what I can do is just drag this down and then edit my text, duplicate again, add my text here. And I'm actually gonna make a change here. I'm gonna switch this over to just the shadow and just remove all these boxes here. So we'll do shadow there, change the color here. And then what I'm actually gonna do is use this little rotate tool and kind of rotate my text a little bit, just like this. 
And then if I want to enhance my thumbnail more, I can click on elements and I can actually add different graphics, different arrows and little things in here to add more. So what I'm actually thinking is I might do a little arrow here pointing at make better videos. So I'm just gonna search arrow in the search bar. It's gonna give me a whole bunch of arrows to choose from that I can add. I'm gonna go with this one and I'm going to flip it and I'm gonna change the color to red. There we go, and I could probably add more to this, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. And there you go, you've made a super easy thumbnail just using Canva, the elements, the text, and that background removal tool. You now have an awesome thumbnail that's gonna work. If you wanna get the same background templates that I use, be sure to click that link down below, so that way I can send you this and you can get this in your Canva account. And if you're still trying to learn the ins and outs of YouTube, be sure to check this playlist right here so that way you can learn more about YouTube and grow your channel faster.